quickly understand how to add a product to our Volusion store for which we have the inventory on hand, we're going to take a look at the concept of drop shipping. This is an excellent way to increase your product offerings on your Volusion store because you're not actually holding the inventory of these products, you're just advertising them for the manufacturer, but it looks very seamless to the customer. And as long as you note to the customer in the description field of the product that the item will ship separately, or depending on the drop shipper that you're working with, it may take a little longer than when you would ship your products. You just obviously want to be honest with your customers and let them know that the product will ship separately or it will take a little longer. Other than that, it's an excellent program as long as you are connected to a reputable drop shipper. It's a great way to run an e-commerce business. We are going to look at a company very briefly called Doba. They offer millions of products. You can sign up for a lifetime membership or a yearly membership um, and that is a great way to offer products that you don't have inventory for and they are called Doba, D-O-B-A dot com. I wanted to find something whimsical to add to our academic section so I found this USB brain mouse that um, I went ahead and added to our Volusion store but I'm going to want to set it up or change it so it'll be treated as a drop shipping program and so the item will actually ship from the manufacturer in Doba that's associated with these brain mice. So to make this happen we will go back to our admin site and the first step is under inventory and vendors we actually have to add Doba as a vendor so that they we can begin to link um, Doba to our products. And when we get to the Manage Vendor Info, we'll click the Add button. And now we want to input information specific to Doba so that when a product is linked to this vendor and someone purchases it, it will correctly be emailed off to Doba. You want to give it an ID that's easy for you to remember and a title. And for vendor PO template, you want to drop that down and choose PO to vendor.asp. You want to make sure active is selected as well as allows drop shipping. Um, the drop down menu for vendor PO send via, you want to choose email. And then you want to put in a correct email address in which the PO will be sent to. Um, Doba will have this listed for you um, in their knowledge base articles or in their customer service area but you get that all with your Doba account so you want to check on Doba that email address may not be accurate okay once you've entered these fields then you can click save and now you've added Doba as a vendor and you re want to remember the ID number now we want to go to inventory and products and actually link Doba to the brain mouse I can do that by clicking on this product so we can begin to edit it and I just need to make a few updates to the product. I'll scroll down and the first thing I'm going to change is at the bottom under vendor rules. I'm going to put in the vendor ID for Doba which is 01 and I'm going to put in the part number from Doba. Now it's sometimes the UPC, sometimes it could be something else so you want to make sure that you're familiar with DOBA's procedures. The minimum quantity, um, again, that's something you'll find by looking at the product. It'll tell you how many are available. Obviously, you don't want to offer all of those, but that gives you an idea that there's quite a few available. The price is the vendor price, not the price you're going to charge. And I would choose the vendor price plus the shipping, because then you have a better idea of what you're going to pay for it when it does get billed to you. Okay, and then the final things we're going to change is an advanced setting. Under stock, we want to put a stock status of negative one or zero, and we want to make sure that do not allow back orders is not checked, because that's how it's going to allow it to be a drop shipping program. And then finally, in the vendors area here in advanced settings, we want to enable auto drop ship. We have now successfully created a product, created a vendor, and linked the product to the vendor. We'll save our item, and when we go out to our store and click on Academics, it appears just like any other item in our Volusion store, and the user does not know that it will be drop shipped to them.